you guys probably have seen influencers, uh, celebrities, just giving out their phone number and saying, Hey guys, I'm bored. Give me a call and I'll text you back. And um, you may have thought to yourself, that's strange. Yeah. Why are all these celebrities um, giving out their phone number all of a sudden? I even saw it on like Twitter news. Um, I don't know who was the celebrity. I wasn't really paying attention, but they, it said like whatever celebrity X really wants you to call his personal number. What? That was trending? Yeah. That's so stupid. Well, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's just some weird thing they're into. I first saw Ninja do it. But then I started seeing all kinds of people doing mm -hmm. this. And I was like, there's something going on here. Well, it turns out there is a big company behind all this called Community. It's basically just an ad agency that allows influencers to text promotions and exclusive offers to their people who text them. So you're basically, when you text them, you're enrolling yourself <laughs> To get spammed by this, but you're not talking to them at all. Also, obviously, that's not the real number, even though everyone is like presenting it like, yeah. Okay, this is crazy. Literally, you're gonna call my number. Literally, not. Well, stay tuned because I have a collection of all these celebrities, what they say about it, and it's just, it's so disingenuous because they all pitch it like, this is totally insane that I'm doing this, but here's my number. Yeah. It's like, fuck you. It even says in the small, uh, small print. It's like this number was given to them by community. They didn't. They, they didn't even make the number. Mm -hmm. um, it's literally just an ad agency that you're opting in for these uh, celebrities to spam you with shit directly to your phone. And even worse, you're giving community your phone number to spam. They're selling it. They're scraping data. Guess what? You uh, text Ninja. They're like, ooh, a ga these people are into games and they opted in. Now uh, now mm -hmm. Activision's going to send them promotions by text. Yeah. I can't imagine a worse thing to get on my phone. Like, yeah. I get spam everywhere. I get spam calls. Now I'm, get now I'm getting spam texts. It's pretty awful. It's awful! And they're so dishonest. That's the part that really ticks me off. Is that none of these guys are upfront about it. Let me, let me continue on. Community is a, um, a marketing company that Ashton Kutcher is heavily uh, invested in. They are Polygon dug into their terms of service. One section reads, additionally, you understand that a message sent, sent by a client may appear to come from a celebrity or other famous individuals or influencers, but may actually be sent to on his or her behalf by public relations or other social media representatives. Yeah, you mean every single one. <laughs> the terms of use go on to say that the messages aren't even private. So if you text this number, they own whatever you said, by the way but that the interactions are purely intended as promotions or advertising. The phone numbers are also provided by community, so no, you cannot call up Ninja and ask what he's doing for Thanksgiving. <laughs> you understand and acknowledge that conversations using the service are not private conversations with clients, but are intended as messages sent and interactions solely for purpose of promoting and or advertising the client and the client's products and services. <clears throat> Additionally, someone on Reddit speculates that they are likely farming people's numbers for later sales. A list of active phone numbers can be sold for a good price, they said. A list of active phone numbers that are already vetted to allow a certain type of fashion or lifestyle based on influencer is a lot more pricey. A lot of the clothing lines would rather want the phone number of people who follow the influencer as opposed to just a random list of phone numbers to cold call. I mean, a phone number lead, that's a valuable thing. Yeah. These are hot leads. These are hot as it gets. Be you know, they could sell a phone number, a hot phone number lead for like $5 a piece or something, like dollars on the spot. That's When you add that up, man, that's crazy money. So all these big influencers, I think, are just getting a fat check. Like, if you go to Ninja's profile, he it just says, text me, and it's got his phone number in it. Okay. 
Um, in July, TechCrunch reported on Community, formerly known as Shimmer. Weird name. So, I wonder if they're Israeli because uh, it sounds like Shimur. Mm. What does Shimur mean? It's like uh, preservation or something like that. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised. Israelis are always buying this shit. Apps? Yeah. Shitty. Not shitty. shitty. Not shitty, but I mean like, um, not shitty, but like they're good at take to get and making money. They're good at uh, like uh, how do I say predatory? Yes, come on, accept it. Mm-mm. All right, you know I'm right. Waze was made by an Israeli. Yeah, I'm not saying it's all bad. Not all bad. It's great. That Excuse one is me. great. Turns out Community is the new name of Sh- Shimur, which launched in 2014 to connect social media celebrities with their fans. According to TechCrunch, Shimur was meant to be a Reddit-like mobile app where users could create and upload content about their favorite YouTubers or influencers. That is until a pivot to direct messaging in 2018 attracted the support of Hollywood talent manager Guy Oshuary and his sound Ventures investment partner Ashton Kutcher, who jumped on board to relaunch Sumer, now known as Community. The Santa Monica based company has raised nearly $35 million in the form of two convertible notes following a recapitalization that occurred alongside its rebranding earlier this year. Uh, investors, including the Sony Innovation Fund, have valued the text marketing platform at upwards of $200 million. How? Crazy. These tech companies are, are, it's like, I don't believe that. When someone buys it for $200 million, I don't think that. I don't see it. This shit is weird, dude. I don't see this going anywhere. And they, they're too aggressive with it. Like, here's my favorite part. Here's all the influencers uh, sh- uh, being paid to promote this. First, let's start with oh, Ash. Oh, yeah. The, so that, <coughs> that manager um, that you mentioned his name, mm-hmm. he's Israeli. There you go. Oh, that's funny. I looked up the actual Shimmer company, though. The founders are not Israeli. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds like they got some Israeli investors, I feel like, but, you know. Yeah, it's probably not. I take back everything I said. <laughs> not really. Ashton Kusher, so he's the first of this. He says, just text me. It's easier. And he gives out his phone number. Wow, incredible. He's texting with his fans. Not. You're texting into a fake number that is part of this company community to scrape your data. Ashton will never talk to you. He only wants to spam you shit. There is no disclosure. There's no honesty at all. They just, they all. I mean, he may respond to like a few. Or maybe they even made together like a pre-made response <coughs> that then he blasts They do. Everyone. They have a one pre-made response. You know. But sure, he responds to a few in the first hour yeah. just as a gimmick so they can like record it and use it as media. Yeah. Or just so he's not like outright lying. But um, again, the, it, it's just totally misleading. It's just so weird because they got like legit people. Because they mean, just. Starting with him, he's like. I feel like it's just a couple managers who they talked into doing this who gave him a fat fucking check to promote it. And <clears throat> and it sounds fine. You're like, hey, you just have people text you. But the thing is, they all f- kind of following the same script of like, just text me. Isn't that so crazy? I'm giving you my number. Mm-hmm. This is what you get when you text them. Ashton here. This is an auto text to let you know I got your message. The rest will be from me. Click the link so I can respond to you. I likely can't respond to everything, but I'll try to be in touch. Dream bigger. Shut the fuck up. You'll never be in touch. Isn't that so scummy? (laughs) Dream bigger. So here you click the link and opt in. I love this. It's just the the whole thing seems so spammy. Click the link so I can respond to you. I likely can't respond to everything, but I'll try to be in touch. Hey, Ashton. What's going on, buddy? I'll try to get in touch. Stupid. So here we go. Ninja. I have to say, Ninja, to me, was a huge offender. I mean, look at this announcement video. First of all, he texts... He but, tweets, um... Ni- yeah, I, I feel like I don't want to be too harsh <coughs> on everyone because they got, like... You have a list here. 
Paul McCartney. And, um, well, Paul McCartney gets a pass, but I'll, I'll talk about that when I Paul come to him. Paul McCartney? But you'll see. You'll <laughs> see. He, he's, he's, you can easily tell he's not involved at all. This is just some manager who signed him up for this shit. But look, look how Ninja pitches this. He tweets, uh, he tweets his number, 312-584-4684. Yes, this is my number. Yes, I will receive each and every text. I'll try to reply to as many as possible. This is going to be fun. Long term, keep texting me. And it has a lot of likes because people are like, oh, that's crazy. This is the first time I saw it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if there's just something for a stream that's supposed to be fun. Here is how he describes it. Longer bond, and this is definitely it. So I'm giving you guys my number. You ready? It is 312-584-4684. Send me a text message right now. There's going to be a link that's going to follow. Fill it out so I have your information, and I'm going to be able to contact you guys, text you guys personally, send you guys awesome videos, messages, behind the scenes of whatever event that my beautiful wife Jess and I are at, or even freaking cute, adorable pictures of our little puppies who are just laying on the couch right now. All right? Send a text to that number, and also, I'll be texting a couple people back personally, asking for your guys' Fortnite gamer tags, and we're going to hit up some Vic Roy's Later on in the week. All right, guys? So remember, it is 3 1 so 2 Vic Roy's. 5 8 4 4 6 8 4. Text me, guys. Vic Roy's. What is that? Oh, Victory Vic Royales, bro. Oh. Honestly. <laughs> Watch how he starts it. Longer bond, and this is definitely it. So I'm giving you guys my number. You what ready? Longer bond, and this is definitely it. So I'm giving you guys my number. Know. You ready? You ready? It is 3 1 2. Are you ready? Okay, let me write this down. Oh, shit. They all play it up like, this is epic. <laughs> this is my real number. Are you ready? You're not going to believe this. This is insane. <laughs> Are you? It's like, dude. It's just a paid advertisement. Mm-hmm. It's stupid. It's stupid. And all of his fans, are probably because they don't even know about it, they're like, this is a whole brand new gimmick. And everyone's like, he probably got so many texts, you know, not knowing that they were, not knowing what they were getting themselves into. So that's Ninja. Lele Pons, I mean, well, obviously. No, this one's actually not that bad. It's just some stupid Instagram pin. Text on my new number. Text me on my new number. I would love to chat with you guys, and I get to know you better. If you can't text me, it's because it still doesn't work outside of the United States, but still put your info so when it works in other places, I can text you and let you know. I would love so to get you know you better. What did they expect to do with this? The influencers. Because <coughs> they're like, still put in your info, so I'll message you. So what I think it is is Just that, to promote their stuff? Yeah. You can just... It's like posting on Twitter. You post memes. You post announcements. Yeah. So it goes to your phone. But the truth is that um, they, don't, they don't say that, first of all. She goes... I would like to chat and get to know you better. I just want to lay in bed at night, mm-hmm. at late at night, and text with my favorite fan, yeah. be best friends. Basically, you're you're like signing up for a mailing, <coughs> new, a mailing newsletter, you know, <coughs> to your phone, yeah. but to your phone. But but yeah. But even beyond that but is that this company community is harvesting numbers to sell to third parties. That's speculation, though. No, it's not speculation. That yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, isn't that in the fine print? I mean, it no. says in the fine print, yes, it says in the fine print that they can share your data with third parties. So it, it's, it's, here's the what it says. I have it, I have it here. But we don't actually know that 100%. It says a list of active phone numbers can be, okay, wait, hold on. It says, you grant community a worldwide perpetual license to host, copy, transmit, and display your data. As necessary for community to provide the service in accordance with these terms. You also grant to community a royalty-free, perpetual, worldwide, transferable, sub-license, sub-licensable license to transfer your data to third-party services, uh, service providers used by community in providing the service. That sounds like... Wow. I mean, I'm not... An expert in terms of service, so they yeah. always sound I, I agree like with, that. I agree with you. I just think it. We <coughs> should th- say it is, ag- it is yeah. a degree of. I agree that they yes. probably do do it. It's but speculation. It's, not, it's speculation. But based That's on all. this statement, they say you also grant to community a royalty free, perpetual, worldwide, transferable yeah. sub license to license 
to, <laughs> they, they, it's transferable. That means they could sell it. What keeps happening to your Vinny? I'm just, I'm getting late in the show, baby. No one's watching the show. <laughs> type, uh, if you're watching at this hour, type, um, Ian did a mayonnaise gag. Great job, Ian, on the mayonnaise gag. Love you, Ian. Great job. No, say this, sorry. Say this. I like that. What do you, you have any other ideas? It's not that funny. Type Ashton Kuster. Say or... Ashton Kuster is a big ass <laughs> ding dong, dude. Ashton Kusher can lick my salty, smelly balls. DD Mega Doo Doo. Anyway, they're selling your shit. Come on, who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? They're selling your shit. My Allegedly. Dude. Possibly. Allegedly. Possibly. Yeah, it's probably. A, it's a comedy show. It's all comedy. It's a parody. <laughs> parody. Parody. <laughs> it's a parody. Come on, who are you kidding? This isn't a new show. This is a parody show. Cheers. Um, and jo- they're selling your data, for sure, a thousand percent. I guarantee you, they're selling your fucking data, possibly to Pringles. <laughs> to Mountain Pringles. Dew. You know what I'm saying? Just all you all of a sudden getting texts from Pringles. That's what it's going to be like. Hey, did you hear about our new Pringles flavored uh, taco flavor? Ah. Uh, Oh, dude. It's like Ninja sends you an image of him with the Pringles taco flavor. Oh, dude. <laughs> Did you hear about Pringles' new taco flavor? Oh, dude. Stop Will Smith. <laughs> Did you hear about new Ninja flavored Mountain Dew? Oh, dude. Sick, dude. <laughs> we'll be a- some Vic Roy's later. <laughs> the only thing I'm pissed about is why didn't these cocksuckers come to me? I would have sold out all you fuckers for like, I don't know, I can only imagine they got a lot of money. I would have sold you guys down the goddamn river for a couple of text messages. Hell yeah. They're like half a million bucks. Sell all your fans out. I'd be like, hey guys, huge crazy announcement. Here's my real number. Text me. When he texted, is it like an instant reply? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just an auto reply thing. I texted a few of them. Text me. Oh, you did. Yeah. That, what the, happened? The screenshot that he put up earlier, the Ashton Kutcher one. That was, did anything that was follow? Well, they send you a link, and it takes you to a page where they want your email, your phone number. Dan your, didn't opt in. Like, he's he's a oh, you type. didn't sign up? <laughs> yeah, I, sh- I didn't necessarily want spam from Ashton Kutcher. Come on, Ashton Dan. Ashton Kutcher should be like, did you hear about the new Pringles? You don't want to hear about <laughs> I wanna, I what should, he ate for lunch? I want to cop some sick Vic Roy's with Ninja sometime. <laughs> Maybe he'll hit me up. And a couple of you, I'm going to hit some Vic Roy's with. And did you guys hear about the new Pringles? Oh! <laughs> KFC has epic new chicken tenders. <laughs> epic. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so Marshmallow Paul did it. Diddy did it. Let me the watch. Paul Diddy. McCartney one. Really oh yeah. Blew so me away. so again, I'm giving Paul McCartney a pass. He's Why? Paul, first of all, look. It says find out Paul's phone number in a new Q and A from Japan. It's like he's not even involved. Yeah. At least it's obvious that he didn't even write this tweet. Paul doesn't Paul. any note. Is a Q and A with Paul McCartney? Let's see what they said. I'm not going to dig into it now, but Paul, Paul doesn't know anything. He's not, he's not above criticism here. No, but I'm saying he's clearly not involved. Like, some <laughs> stupid manager was like, they're going to pay you a million bucks to, to say your number. See, even that, it, dude, what is Paul McCartney's net worth? We yeah, yeah. yeah. $1.5 yeah. billion. Dollars. He's a billionaire. What the yeah. fuck does he need to he's do this for? He's a fucking Peedle. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I'm not, but again, it's just... Next is going to start doing cameo. What I'm saying is <laughs> yeah, that... Yeah, right, exactly. Nick, <laughs> like, why? Look, Nick, yeah, Paul McCartney cameo for 25 bucks. <laughs> hey, we're out here. <laughs> hey, Paul McCartney here. <laughs> Hello. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday, <laughs> Thomas. Here's a little jingle for you. <laughs> Net worth $1.2 billion. So... Yeah. What the hell? What Strawberry the hell Fields there. forever. Happy birthday, Thomas. <laughs> That's a John song. Come on. You know this. It's a Beatles song. Get the fuck out of We're here. We're back in the U.S. With the honestly. <laughs> honestly. It takes too long, Zach. I don't even think this, but just to play <laughs> for a second. Thank you for correcting me, though. I love when you correct me. <laughs> um... The thing is that Ninja um, knows what he's doing, okay, when he puts out a video saying, Oh, guys, I'm about to do it. Are you ready? This is so crazy. Paul McCartney's like, I'm old, bro. I, like, his tweet didn't even wasn't even written from him. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like he doesn't even manage his own Twitter. Look, he got 500 likes. That's Paul McCartney, like the most famous person that's ever lived, got 500 likes. I disagree with I this. love that Photoshop. What? What are you disagreeing with, Zach? It's Paul McCartney, though. Like, why? Who would sell him out like this? Yeah, he's got a shitty manager. That happens all the time. <laughs> I'm giving him a pass. I have to. Diddy, however, you guys are going to love this. But Ninja is a friend of the show. You're going to sell him out like that? Hey, what's up? He's not a fan of the show. He was on the show. <laughs> Wait, just because you're on the show, you don't, you're just immune? Are people going to say I backstabbed Ninja? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Team Starwood. He's gonna do a whole one hour special about how I back there. Honestly. Clown Star. Team Star the Clown Star. Okay, let's see what P P uh Looking forward to that. D P P. I sh- he goes, Well look how Diddy uh, phrases it. I shouldn't do this, but text me. I shouldn't do this, y'all. All right, Diddy. Yo, check this out. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I and I'm like, Diddy you know, man. I'm about to go into this next era of my too. life. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, positive things, yeah. you know, a lot of disruptive things. Hell yeah. um, a lot of things I really don't want everybody, like everybody to know about. Um, so like Only on the gram, everybody me. knows about everything, you know. I want a deeper connection Eight. with my fans. So I came up with this idea. I was going to get a special phone <laughs> number, and I was going to be able to give it to my family, my fans, everybody that's down my with family? the movements that I'm about. You know what I'm saying? I think they Team have a different love number. movement. You know, bad boy. You know, black excellence, entrepreneurialism, getting money, um, vibration. He knows about black inspiration, excellence. and um, I know that just means. special what unique content mean? that I'm going to share. He knows about black excellence on this on this phone. And also, on top of that, I'm also going to be able to be in communication with y'all. So when you, and when I'm in your city, I'll be able to hit you directly. And also, I think they all have the same manager. Laying on to real thick. Yeah, I know. You get all the questions. <laughs> it's a movement. Like, you really get, you're right. <laughs> Man, I'm just going to give out my fucking number. 917-746-1444. Wow. No way. Text that number right now. No way. Text that number and tell me what it says, Dan. You know, I'm actually calling Ashton's number right now to see what happens when you call <laughs> Oh, you're calling for real? Tell me what happens if you call it. Yeah, Honestly. Oh, it's ringing. Oh, good. Wait. Is that really your phone that I'm hearing? Yeah. Got it on speaker. Great. Okay. Okay. Said? It said, who leaves voice messages, just text me, and then he hung up on me. Fuck you, Ashton. <laughs> what the fuck was yeah. that? Yeah, I wonder why Rude. he wants you to text me. <laughs> <honestly. laughs> so, so text Diddy, would you? I wanna, I'm curious what his message okay. is. Hey, what's up, y'all? Check this out. So I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, beautiful day. Uh, 917-746-1444. He probably gets like $10 per sign up. We're making Diddy all mm-hmm. the right now. I'm just saying... Do you not know who I am? Why have I not been approached to sell out my fans for for like I mean Because we don't have a manager. <laughs> you think yeah, I think they'll have the same manager. <laughs> Come on, I need some of that money. I want to sell you all. You are all data. You are all <laughs> worth about five dollars to me. Here we go. <laughs> Auto reply. It's Diddy. Thanks for texting. Who's this? Be sure to click, who's this? <laughs> be sure to click the link and add your contact so you hear it from me first. Everything else will be from here. Say it's from game. me direct. Say it's say it's. And you game. got a praying emoji so and a heart emoji. So what happens when you click the link? Come on, Dan. It's just the. It's the of, same as everything. Yeah, it just it all page. takes you to the same community yeah. sign up page. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to. I think they're. I think that's so lame. I wonder if they're getting paid per sign up though, because they're all. Like, laying it on so thick. Yeah. That's a movement. It's all like, bro, this is the craziest thing. This is so exclusive. Dream bigger. I'm going to change my mind, so you better text me quick. I think they're getting paid CPA, dude. Well, Ashton is definitely is invested, <laughs> right? Again, it, the is, fact yes. that Ashton is invested heavily in this company and doesn't disclose that seems very questionable to me. Well, I don't think that it's a secret. How... Well, to his people following him, they don't know it necessarily. It's not a that. secret, but yeah, if you it's don't. not disclosing it. Right. It seems like a conflict yeah. of interest. Uh, Marshmallow. This one really is annoying, too. Marshmallow. Can you mute it? Oh, thank you. You guys are quick. Thank you. 
Here's Marshmallow, who, by the way, doesn't even talk. I mean, send nudes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is his phone number. It's in the title. It's in the description. This is what's gonna happen if you text Marshmallow, you guys. This Chris Rock calls in. I was like, bro, these guys' pockets are deep as fuck. Chris Rock How'd calls in. The, Chris Rock the dumbest joke this? ever. He goes, "Hey, Marshmallow, you ever get in touch with Lucky Charms? Cause you're a marshmallow." Whoa, really? I was like, Chris Rock, bro, Chris. you're rich yeah. too, man. You don't need to do this. Have you thought about working with Pop Rocks, Chris? Epic marshmallow. Epic fucking content. I want to flip this goddamn table. Are you Tease, though? No, I'm Sean Mendez and Will Ferrell. <laughs> Look at all the fun conversations and genuine and real conversations. <laughs> Are you like, Tease, is it? <laughs> like, by the way, <laughs> hey, Liam, it's real. By the way, it's in his but <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> What did I do? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Tell me what happened. It's <laughs> you your pronunciation of Tiesto. Yeah, whatever. T Tiesto. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I don't know anything. I don't listen to that shit. Mega doo doo. Um, uh, marshmallow. <laughs> eh. These are totally cool and random conversations that you can have with me if you text my number. I get a CPA. I get a. Uh, I get paid per acquisition. Eee, you can text me. Oh, Chris Rocks texted me. Okay. Text uh, Marshmallow. Uh, 505, Dan. Hold on, I'm working on it. I'm over what it. He, he doesn't... No, I'm not over it. I'm oh, over whoa. it. Whoa. You he just got the I'm over it. Dude. Every I'm time you it. say I'm over it, every everybody <laughs> overrules you. Whoa. I'm over it. I'm not over it. I'm into it. I'm, I'm loving it. it. <laughs> loving it. I'm loving it. Everybody. Loving, loving it. it. We're loving into this it. segment. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm yes, over yes, it. yes, yes. I'm <laughs> over it. <laughs> How long have we We're been almost going? We've been going for a long time. You know, I'm I think over it. I think I might have Ninja's real number in my phone. Maybe if, since he's so cool with giving it out, I should just shout so it out right now. Up. Be like, oh, he must have given the wrong number, you guys. Here's his real number. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah I think he made a mistake actually. <laughs> you, um, okay, whatever. And then there's Jake Paul, of course, who would never, as we know, based on the um, Man, they that got one. Everybody, dude, you're right. You got left out. He goes, he goes <laughs> bored on this drive, text me. I'm going to be replying to as many people. Are you are you stupid. Is that it? Wait, actually text that. Let me see if that's... Um, A 310 number. That might actually... Let, I want it before I shit on him. I'm. Or you think it's his real number? Oh, no, here. No. No, it is... Hey, lit. This is what he got. Look at this <laughs> shit. What's his number? I, I, have a, uh, I have a picture of it here. Hey, Lit, I got you saved now. My lawyers wanted me to tell you that. Fre uh, message frequency will vary. <laughs> Your what? Your carrier's message and data rates may apply. <laughs> Reply help to- Wait, you got- This, <laughs> this can't be real. Yo, it's Jake. Let's text, fam. Make sure you click the link that I sent you and add yourself to my phone so I can respond to you. Did he really put a disclaimer in the text? No one else did that. I'm <laughs> over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. And you know, Jake Paul's in. So there you have it. Um that's the epic thing that everybody's doing. So text me. I want in on this money. I want everybody's phone number. <sighs> <laughs> if I make five dollars per phone number and at least a hundred thousand of you cocksuckers burp. sign up. Yeah, it was a burp. If I could get a hundred thousand of you cocksuckers to sign up, that's half a million bucks. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> where do you at? I'll, where do you at? Community, hook me up with that shit. I want to sell out every one of I my fans. I am over it. Five dollars per I'm head. Over it. <laughs>